we've got people in Dubai and we've got people around the world. I'm, I'm really always interested to see, give us your sort of rundown on where Dubai is actually at, why it's at, where it's at now. Back in the last year, as soon as people started talking about recession, Europe went really quiet. America went really quiet. And then Dubai just picks up and picks up and picks yeah. up. And now my inbox on LinkedIn gives, gives me a fairly good indication of where people <laughs> want to be in the world. Um, and you think like six, seven years ago, you tell people you're going to move to the, the Middle East. They're like, why are you doing that? Like, yeah. can you even drink there? Like, what is the point? Like, can, can women drive cars? And it's like, <laughs> mate, just leave me alone. So you, yeah. you move here. And then now I look at my inbox on LinkedIn. Every man and his dog is in my inbox. Like, how do I get here? What do I need to do? Really? What does that look like? And I've really senior successful people in the UK in my inbox on LinkedIn trying to figure out how do I get here? And it, even if that means them taking a step back just to, just to move out here, mate. So whatever they're doing is working. Um, but I love it. <laughs> It's good for business, if you, want, uh, if you want to come and work in Dubai, jump on to Ben's LinkedIn. Stay out my inbox, mate. Drop it's a killer. his inbox yeah. and have a chat with him. Yeah. I might even put his LinkedIn profile yeah. in the show notes. Let's have a look. So continue, mate. That's a, that's a super interesting insight, isn't it? And, and like you said, some people are almost willing to go backwards, yeah. to move here, to go forwards, yeah, yeah. Well, which is nuts. Again, I think, think like five, ten years ago, the packages people expected to move to the Middle East, you know, yeah. you, you wanted housing and family allowance and visas and um, uh, big packages, and they're, they're just not not there now. But like people are willing to accept, they wouldn't have been willing to accept what they earned in the UK to move here. And I use UK because that's that's yeah. what I know, right? And then they'd want more money to move here. A couple of years ago, they would accept the same money, and now they accept less money than what they're earning in the UK just to get out experience what, what what we get to experience it here might mate. Be, uh, it might not be dubai it could be what the uk <laughs> has to no, offer at the moment I'm, I'm back there on sunday so <laughs> i'll say nothing bad you give us an update mate yeah, and let yeah. us know what's <laughs> back going here on by monday what do you think let's go for a little bit of the of, of the cheesy one mate what is probably the biggest learning you've had in the last three years setting up uh, and running your business feels like an easy answer because it's on your on, on the t-shirt mate <laughs> but it's um just around endurance right this this isn't easy yeah um but then it's not easy working for someone else as well and there's going to be ups and downs and i think in sales and endurance events is not to get too excited when it's going well because it's going to turn and go bad yeah. and not to get too sad when it's going bad because you know it's going to turn up and, and, and get better so it's, it's remaining level-headed through your successes and your failures um, throughout, the, throughout the whole time. And, you know, if, if we pictured what we pictured three years ago where we are now, we'd be delighted. Would we have still done it if we knew what we knew would happen over the last three years? Probably not, mate. Yeah. Um, but if you reflect back to where we are now, I would have been delighted. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, it might have looked different. The business might have looked different. There might have been more people. There might, 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 might have been less people. We might have been in a different location. We don't really know. Yeah. Because um, hindsight's wonderful, but I'd certainly take where I am now. I get to wake up. I love the people that I work with. We're, we're very particular with the, the businesses we work with. Yeah. Like, we just, yeah, I only work, want to work with good people. There's no point running your own business and then working with... Cockheads. Yeah, cockheads, mate. <laughs> um, so I get to work with great people. I love what I do. Um, and we, we're doing all right. So. One thing that just jumped to mind when you were saying that, mate, I remember the, it was the penultimate stage of the Giro this year when Garrett Thomas lost by one second yeah. and lost the race, ended up second. And those that know cycling know Garrett Thomas. He's, he's been in the peloton for a number of years unfortunately he's from wales but sometimes it's yeah, like that we'll take him as mate. great britain <laughs> <laughs> and he said you know if you'd have told me three weeks ago that i would have been on the second step i think he said something like i'd have bitten bitten your fucking arm off yeah, for it yeah. you know and it's similar to what you say if if you sort of look where you were sat three four years ago yeah. and where you're sat now because it's quite easy isn't it especially and it all roots back to this dopamine the molecule of more the sales industry we can sell more dubai can be bigger we can get more vc money the whole thing yeah. but you've just put it in such a beautiful way that yeah we could be we probably could be further along yeah. it could be a whole load different yeah, yeah. If we didn't do this and we didn't do that but 
Far we out. Almost might be out of business, mate. So you know. But if you look, if you think back to your 2019 moment in Jordan or your 2020 start, and visualize what you visualized then for where you'd be in 2023, you're over the moon. Yeah, I take it absolutely, mate. It's uh, it's That's very nice. inspiring. <laughs>